Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Jay God, and in today's video we're going to focus on the KN57. I'm going to be giving you the best class setup for this weapon in Call of Duty Black Ops 4. When it comes to ranking the different weapons in the game, I wouldn't rank the KN that high up on the list. So whether you're using the KN just to kind of mix things up, or you're on the grind to complete all those camo challenges, I have a best class setup for you. Knowing that this weapon will more than likely get outgunned by a Titan, a Maddox, and an ICR, decided to accommodate that in the class setup. So the best class setup for the KM57 that I have for you today is hybrid mags, rapid fire, suppressor, stock. Then I am using that stim shot, tactical mask, and dead silent. Hybrid mags is pretty cool because it gives you that additional ammo and allows you to reload faster. Rapid fire allows you to be a little bit more competitive in those gunfights. Suppressor will keep you off the radar as you're coming around for those flanks. And flanks are so important because it allows you to win these gunfights without actually taking any damage. And equipping that stock actually does a couple different things. One, it makes myself a little bit harder to hit and makes sure I get the maximum sticky aim. For my gear, you can see I decided to go with the stim shot. And the main reason for that is because I know I'm going to get in these engagements. I'm going to have to outgun the other person. They're more than likely going to hit me at least once or twice. This will allow me to get right back into the action as soon as possible. And then as you can see, for the two different perks, I decided to go with that attack mask and dead silent just because of how strong they are in the current meta of the game. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and transition into a gameplay breakdown. If you've enjoyed the video so far, you got the information, the reason you clicked on this video, which was the best KN class setup, make sure you hit that like button. Let's see if we can get this video over 500 likes. And if you're brand new to the channel, I typically cover Call of Duty news, in-game updates, best class setups, subscriber breakdowns, as well as other tip and trick videos on how to improve at Call of Duty. If any of that's the stuff you typically like to watch, make sure you subscribe and turn those notifications on. So using that class setup, I decided to play a little bit of TDM on Arsenal. And you can see right here, I'm kind of moving through the middle of the map, pre-aiming this doorway. That's a lot of times what you're going to have to do when you play the game. You're going to have to either center or pre-aim on the high traffic area. So that's the doorway, this vent, the window on the opposite side so the more custom you are to the map you're going to know where these high traffic areas are and generally you're going to be able to guess at a higher rate come through the door knowing where my teammate is this is taken from theater mode so the recoil is going to look a little bit off but the general mechanics and the thought process is what's really important so right here i'm kind of waiting it out i can't tell if the enemy is all pushing on this particular side so i'm kind of pre-aiming this area hoping they're going to come through here and they both kind of funnel through there i knew my teammate was heading around that left side and the other one was through the vent so I had a pretty good indication this is where they're going to be coming from since I do have a teammate camping out on the spawn as well. So now that I have a UAV, I get a little bit of a map awareness to find out where the enemies are coming from. You can see that they love this vent. For whatever reason, this vent should have never been included on the map. I think it's kind of annoying more than anything. I ended up taking this guy out. I was pretty prepared for him. And then I end up getting gunned because it's two against one. And I happen to already take out the other one. So that's just an unfortunate scenario. I could have probably backed up just a little bit. I just didn't envision there would be three people there. So it is what it is. And right here, I did see this guy pop up a little blip on the mini map. And I decided to bait him a little bit. That's why I peeked it. He decided to jump out. I rehealed. Now I can engage. And I ended up baiting this guy as well. See him there? He's on a head glitch. I'm wide in the open. But in this particular scenario, it didn't really work out for me. I ended up getting lasered. And then you're going to see I start to go on a little bit longer streak coming up pretty soon. One thing to know about maps in general is there's certain power positions on every map depending on the mode. In this particular map scenario, you ideally want to be in the middle building and actually have people positioned on different angles covering the different aspects. Kind of odd. You don't usually want to be in the middle of the map on almost any map, but this one allows people to funnel through. You got tons of head glitches. And what that gives you is the opportunity to position yourself in a way that you're going to win a lot of gunfights. And obviously when you win more gunfights, you're going to live longer. You're going to actually go on longer streaks and be able to call in more of those streaks, which will be a chain effect, which will lead to more kills more score and it kind of continues that ripple effect one big tip that i'll give you in general when you're playing call of duty is that your eyes should be on the mini map back to center screen on the mini map because you're going to get a lot of information from that even without that uav the mini map is still going to give you a ton of information it'll tell you where your teammates are when enemies fire their weapons you'll get those little quick blips so if you're looking at it on a regular basis you're going to have a good idea of where these different people are right here you see i'm pushing pretty aggressively to try and come around the corner I know that these guys are in the vent. They're all hugging each other, all three of them. I'm free aim, ready to fire. The second I see the guy, fire at him, and then I kind of wall bang the second. And it looks like my teammate in the vent takes out that third player, but the minimap is telling me there's someone over here, and then there's someone back on this left side. I snap right onto him. Paying attention to the minimap, you get a good idea where players are. About to get that sentry gun. All I need is a couple more kills, and that'll tip me over that little next milestone. And right here, I can see that the guy pops up on the minimap right as I come around the corner, and I kind of lucked out. I end up right behind him. I don't fire just yet because I don't want any information to be given away. Then you're going to see where I position the sentry gun because I know that's going to look directly on the spawn. If anyone comes in the doorway, 
And even if it doesn't kill them, it'll at least tell me where they're coming from. So you can see right there, I turn around, snap on that guy. He kind of ran right past me. He didn't really have a clue where I was. I just knew that he was going for that sentry gun. And I kind of lucked out. So now I'm kind of just peeking this little left spawn. Anyone who comes around, I'm kind of using that sentry gun to my advantage. Looks like my teammate ends up taking that guy out. He was trying to sneak around. We ended up taking him out pretty easily. Call my Hellstorm. Go ahead and line up this shot. It works out that they have spawned right there. I get a nice little three-piece, and I know that they're still spawning from this general area, so I'm kind of pre-aiming there. So when it comes to the mini-map, I'm actually looking for two different things. Where are my teammates spawning? They're still spawning behind me. The second they spawn in front of me, I'll know the spawns flip. Or if I see a red blip appear on the opposite end of the map, I'll already have a good indication that the spawns flip. So you can see I'm kind of rotating back and forth, kind of waiting. And at this point, this is the smart play. If I go ahead and run through that spawn, all I'm going to do is flip the spawn, and then i got to run to the opposite end of the map. And more than likely, I may get shot in the back. At least from this position, I know where the enemies are at least going to be coming from. You can see that the red blip just popped up behind me. There was one. Now there's a second, and I recognize that. So I make a move to get in position, and unfortunately, none of my teammates recognize that the enemy were coming from that side until it was too late. And that little area I was kind of locking down is another type of power position. Ideally, you want someone in the window. As soon as the spawns flipped, they would have been able to look that other direction, and the enemies would have never been able to make it that close. But more often than not, you're going to have the teammate basically staring at the sentry gun, not really doing anything until the sentry gun decides to put in a little bit of work. So unfortunately, with my system hacked for that little bit of time it was, it kind of made it hard to kind of recognize where people were coming from. Luckily, as I come around, that guy tries to melee me, but I'm able to finish him off first. And right here, based off the minimap, I recognize I can make a little bit more aggressive play. You can see my teammate just got killed in front of me. But there's still two teammates right behind me. A third just popped up. And you're going to see that one of the enemy players snuck around into our spawn with all three teammates there. Kind of looking around. They end up getting killed. So I know I'm not in a good position. And then I end up getting kind of pinched because all those teammates ended up dying. Three people run up on me and they have the little shock drone. Not very good timing on my end. But I expected a lot of teammates to be sitting up in the window actually putting in some kind of work and killing enemies. Again, it doesn't always work out that way. So the goal isn't always to go flawless because there's going to be variables that are not in your control, whether it's specialists outplaying you because they call in a war machine and you end up being point blank. And they don't blow themselves up. They only blow you up. You can see that the gun still performs pretty well. It just depends on how you plan on using it. Hopefully you did enjoy the video and found it helpful in some way. If you did, remember to hit that like button so we can get this video over 500 likes. And if you're brand new, make sure you subscribe and turn those notifications on. Appreciate all the support on the channel. We'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching. As always, have a great day.